what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the DIY Corner and here we go again. I'm here in this uh, garage with a uh, different V-Rod here. You see it's nice blue color, very unique colors. I don't see that many uh, blue V-Rod out there. So as you guys knew here, um, I do most DIY project on my uh, motorcycle and car, you know, so we are guys, so we always have some kind of like a hobby and cool toy and um, you know, to killing some time and to relieve all the stress out, right? So um, if you guys come back here but forgot to subscribe to my channel, please do so because I've been watching you guys, okay? Just kidding. <laughs> all right, so today video, I'll come back with another V-Rod here. So last time I did a custom body kit and um, some small little upgrade on my 2015 Harley Davidson V-Rod Night Rod Special and uh, this time it's gonna be an older model this is gonna be a 2011 and this is pretty stock and uh, no upgrade, no air ride uh, suspensions as you see right here the front shock is kind of fade away the colors is about to come up Then you're gonna use the 24 millimeter socket here for this nut. And we're gonna use a flat head or a screwdriver. Um, go to this side and poke it through here. Then you're gonna go to this side here gonna be a five millimeter Allen wrench key. I have a speed sensor right here. Just gently take it out. And we also have a washer spacer sorry spacer on the other side oh, I can't bend down all day to send all that fork you know so just got this at Harbor Bray all right guys so what I use to send it down is I bought this at Harbor Bray for a few bucks it's a wire brush wheel um, insert into the um, hand drill so if you got the hand drill like this that would be good um, but if you have a sander it would be better so um, I bought two, this wire brush and this pad right here is going to be softer. So I also bought this at uh, Hubbard Bray today. So I'm going to try both to see which one works better. So this thing's been really fast, so you gotta be careful. Make sure you wear eyeglass, um, safety glass, and wear some glove to save yourself. All right, guys. So this is how far I get for the spot. Kind of easy to take off, but uh, in the backside, there are a lot of. Um, corner that you have to reach so you gotta try with the different wheel um, brushing wheel or you may have like a, a little um, um, pencil grinder or something to get into those corner
So you can use the uh, prep spray to clean. I have some alcohol here. I'm just gonna use alcohol. So the paint that I decide to use is gonna be either one of these two right here. I'm gonna try it out with the glossy one first. This is the I bought it out of zone. Uh, it's a gloss black. Uh, we see how it's come out. Got the three different ones over here. I decided to use this one. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive compared to this one. This one is like $12 something at AutoZone. And this probably like $10 something. So uh, it's only $2 difference. But um, I use this, I start with this one. And um, this paint, uh, I mean, it's pretty good. It's not that glossy uh, like I expect. But um, I will apply some glossy clear coat on it at the end. Um, this one gonna come out um, matte black. So it's gonna be even more or less cloth compared to this one right here. But this one, uh, I try to stay away from uh, for this one because it's gonna be um, it's gonna be glossy black, but it's gonna run uh, the color running, you know, uh, if you over sprayed it. So I stay away from this. Okay, guys. So after two coats all around the board. Okay, guys. So after two to three coats of the black uh, gloss black paint. Um, I recommend you to wait about 24 hours for to let it dry real good. Then you can apply the uh, this product right here. Um, if you can, um, you can find out more how to use this correctly on YouTube. But I will share with you guys the link for this product. I heard this is the top of the line and for professional use only, and uh, it's require a uh, high quality mask. So you have to get the proper proper match to to use this product. Um, it's very strong. So uh, this can is a little bit more expensive compared to any other can out there. And you cannot out. Um, you, I I haven't find this at the counter, but you can find this on eBay or Amazon. So I will try to use this for the first time to see how it's come out. Hopefully, uh, it's gonna come out as expected. So I'm gonna shake this for like two minutes. So after you shake for two minutes, you, we're gonna pop this red button out and use this insert right here, the nut right here in the bottom. And then we're gonna push it over to break for the hardener down here to break through. And after we push it through, we're gonna shake for another two minutes to make the hot enough and the pan and the clear coat together. Two or three coats for this. Okay, guys. So I just uh, first coat for both sides. I just turned this fork around so. As you can see here, first coat and this with our first coat, this is a lot different. So I think two coats is gonna be good enough. Wow, this thing come out pretty nice. <laughs> 